Item number SCP-6669 Object Class Cutter Special Containment Procedures SCP-6669 and SCP-6669-1 are subject to STRL Class Academic Censorship. Booster probes are to be dispatched whenever necessary to keep SCP-6669 instances hidden behind suitable trans-Neptunian objects. This is considered Priority Tau for Outer Solar System Division. In the event that additional SCP-6669 instances are detected approaching the Sol system, emergency deployment of disposable probes is authorized to divert the instances away from the Sol system. Investigation into SCP-6669-1 is to be assigned priority sigma for the Department of Extrasolar Activities. Description SCP-6669 are massive solar sails, measuring larger than 100 kilometers in diameter, suspending an uplong payload approximately 1 kilometer long and 300 meters in diameter. Spectral analyses have determined that the objects are coated in reflective aluminum layers on every surface. But exposed underlying material cannot be conclusively analyzed by current technology. There are three known instances of SCP-6669 in the Sol system, designated SCP-6669-A, B, and C. All of these instances are situated within the Heliopause Note region of space where the pressure of solar wind become equal to the pressure of the interstellar medium. Due to the Sol system's movement through the galaxy, the shape of this region is asymmetric with regions at the direction of Sol's movement being closer to Sol than the opposite direction. Approximately 120 astronomical units from Earth, all attempts to communicate with these instances have been unsuccessful. SCP-6669 instances carry large collections of dormant and active microorganisms within their payload, all capable of either thermosynthesis or radio synthesis, utilizing energy and nutrients emitted through unknown means from its core. Analysis of data obtained through scans and samples from micrometeorite cracks suggest that these microorganisms are capable of consuming a large breadth of material to support their complex internal ecosystem. It is hypothesized that if an instance of SCP-6669 is to be allowed to survive an impact or land on a suitable celestial body, these microorganisms would begin to convert the celestial body into a functional biosphere, presumed the ideal for habitation of SCP-6669 creators. SCP-6669-1 is a megastructure of presumed alien origin located in the Dr. Star System, B parsecs from the Sol System. SCP-6669-1 is comprised of a toroidal structure estimated to be at least 600 kilometers in diameter, and a central launch facility in its center measuring in excess of 1,000 kilometers. Approximately once every three years, instances of SCP-6669 are launched at near light speed from the launch facility towards indeterminate targets. It is currently unknown how SCP-6669-1 chooses to target for these launches. Given the velocity of these launches and the construction of SCP-6669 instances, it is unknown whether any of their payloads would survive an impact with the targets or recently slow down to land using their sails alone. While SCP-6669-C was prevented from entering the solar system by the Foundation, it is currently unknown why and how SCP-6669-A and B failed to cross the copper belt into the inner solar system. Due to its distance, contact with SCP-6669-1 is currently impossible. Should the object attempt to make contact with human civilization, or should humanity expand in its direction, it would likely result in Scenario G-87.
alien thought process, mostly peaceful, of theoretical human interstellar civilization contact catalog. Discovery prior to the launch of the Hubble Space Telescope in April 1990, the Foundation had only been aware of SCP 6669A and B instances as trans Neptunian objects with unusually high albedo. The images and measurement captured from Hubble Space Telescope and later Foundation Exospheric Nano Satellite Imaging System confirmed that the instances are in fact further and thus larger than previously thought. The newly formed Outer Solar System Division was immediately tasked to research and conceal these instances. On January 20 beep, SCP 6669C was detected approaching the Sol system by Observatory for Relativistic and Luminal Anomalies. Emergency deployment of experimental probe equipped with diminished inertia controlled kinetic energy transducers was authorized to break the instance and prevent it from entering the inner solar system. The probe succeeded in safely breaking the instance into less than 0.001% the speed of light, preventing its entry to the solar system. The instance then deployed its solar sail from its folded state. Using the data acquired from observation of SCP 6669C, the Data High Interest Object Monitoring System circulated the trajectory it took and traced it back to the redacted star system, where subsequent observations detected the existence of SCP 6669 1.